Just one, um, because you're not supposed to touch this bare hands. Wait, is that why my eyes have been hurting? Um, hurting my eyes? May, nice. may. I chose this dish because I really love fried green tomatoes. They are a southern staple. Tomatoes and crab salad are a match made in heaven. When people eat this dish, they will experience like the warmth of the curry, the sweetness of the crab, and the tartness of the fried green tomatoes, and all together will end up with a super balanced, super delicious dish. Hi, I'm Dawn Burrell, chef partner of Late August here in Houston, Texas. Today, I'll be showing you how to make fried green tomatoes with a curry crab salad. I'm gonna start by cutting the shallots for the base of the vinaigrette. Now, the shallots should be sliced pretty thinly so that they can get nice and tender in the salad dressing. We'll do this mini sweet peppers. Now, I really like to use the sweet peppers because they look really nice in salads and they're also really, really tender. They add lots of flavor have almost no spice level at all. Now we're gonna cut uh, the scotch bonnet pepper. If you cannot find scotch bonnet peppers, you can utilize habaneros, they're totally fine. Scotch bonnet and habanero both add very similar fruitiness to the dish, but also pack a punch. I'm just gonna deseed this guy and, and slice it really thinly so that no one gets a huge bite of scotch bonnet. It's very important to wear gloves when cutting spicy chilies because the capsaicin will stay on your hands for quite some time. You don't want to rub your eyes or, or touch anything with spicy fingers. So I'm gonna give my board a quick flip just for safety. Now we'll cut the green onions for the salad. Cut these nice and thinly as well. I like to use both the whites and the greens of the green onion. They both add different flavors. The green tends to be milder and the white part gives it the little aromatic, kind of deep, almost bitterness that, that I like to have in salads. And now for the ginger. We're gonna peel the ginger by using a spoon. So you need about a, an inch of ginger. And I'm just gonna grate this right into a bowl. If you don't have a microplane, you can use a regular grater. It's fine. You just want it to be really finely grated because ginger doesn't break down very easily. And this dressing is not completely cooked. We're just pouring hot oil over the dressing. So we want it to break down pretty well. Cool, that's about enough. In true Dawn Burrell form, I have nicked myself with, with my knife, but the good news is that this maiden knife came with a maiden band-aid, so it's all good. We're gonna get back started. All right, I'm gonna cut these tomatoes. The trick that I love to use is using two deli lids and sandwiching the tomatoes in between them, and it just allows you to be able to cut multiple tomatoes at one time. Voila, the job is already done. Now, we're gonna start cutting green tomatoes. Now, these gr green tomatoes are really nice. Your green tomatoes should be almost 100% green. Once it starts to turn red, it starts to get a little bit soft. I'd like them to be cut, not a quarter inch thick, third to a quarter is fine. Now that we have all the green tomatoes cut, we are going to season them with some Korean chili flake, uh, salt, and pepper. I love using chili flakes like this because it has just as much flavor as it does spice, which is what I really like. I'm all about flavor. Come back with some pepper really quickly for this side, and we'll season up on both sides. Now that we have our tomatoes seasoned, I'm gonna set up the breading station. To bread the green tomatoes, I'm gonna set up my three compartment breading system. Uh, now, I'm using panko and fonio. Fonio is an ancient African grain. Now, I like to use it because it adds like a nuttiness and a richness, but it also like adds a super crunch that you won't find anywhere else. I'm just gonna get this well incorporated. And then the flour for the base of the dredge. And lastly, we'll crack some eggs into this bowl to glue it all together. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this egg wash just to thin it out a little bit and make it a little bit easier to use. I'm gonna get everything seasoned with a little bit of salt because, you know, we should salt every layer to make sure that the green tomatoes are seasoned because they're tart, but other than that, they don't have a whole bunch of flavor. To bread properly, I like to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. And we'll go flour to egg to fonio. We'll drop this down, and this will be my dry hand. 
and I'm gonna just press the green tomato down and shake the excess off. And then I'm gonna rest the green tomato in the egg mixture for a little while while I continue to bread with the flour. We have uh, some that have been resting in flour for a little while. I'm gonna take my wet hand, just kind of massage a little bit some of the flour just to make sure it's fully saturated. And then I'm going to place it in the, the fonio and panko mixture immediately. And here I just kind of bury the green tomato and push it down. You don't want to handle it too much because you'll have the, the breading sticking to your fingers, which will pull, kind of pull off the green tomato. And we have them all breaded. Uh, now let's take them over to the stove and fry them. To fry the green tomatoes, we're going to start by heating this pan to about medium high. And for cooking the green tomatoes, we'll need like about a quart to a quart and a half of neutral oil. And when it hits 350, the oil is ready for you. I just want to make sure that they have a good amount of space to get nice and golden brown. Now the temperature is going to drop when you add your green tomatoes. Just make sure that you reinforce the heat by turning the heat up just a little bit. I'm going to give these guys a flip. So they're already starting to get golden brown. Now it's important to fry your green tomatoes long enough. Green tomatoes are very hard. If you cook them too fast, the, the outside will be golden brown, but the inside will still be raw. We want it to cook all the way through. And the little lovely bubbling sound is the, the moisture escaping from the tomatoes, which is, I don't know, I just like that sound. It's really nice. All right, this guy is done. As the green tomatoes come out, you want to salt them. And I like to use a little finishing salt. While we're over here, I'm going to heat up the oil for our salad dressing. We're making a warm salad dressing, and um, that requires melting and heating the oil. And what we're going to do is pour this hot oil over the aromatics and over the curry spice to cook those ingredients. I'm using both coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil because I like the flavor of, of coconut oil. It adds like a natural sweetness. All right, the coconut oil is melted. Just let this heat up to about 300 degrees. The oil's starting to shimmer. I'm really smelling the, the nuttiness of the coconut oil. Yeah, it's ready, it's ready. So I'm gonna take it over here so we can make our salad dressing. We're making a warm, curried vinaigrette. Uh, it's my favorite way to make vinaigrettes because it, the heat of the oil coaxes the right flavors out of the salad dressing. Also, I love warm salad, so it's a combination of these two things. I am now adding the ginger and the green onions. Add a little salt also. Get it all mixed in. Then we're going to just take the hot oil and just pour it over this veg. The hot oil just kind of cooks the curry. It softens the shallots. You smell it, it smells wonderful. A little bit more salt and the rest of the oil. Now we'll season with one tablespoon of cane vinegar and some lime juice. I'm actually gonna reserve a little bit to put directly on the crab. And there you have it, our curry vinaigrette. We've made our vinaigrette, now it's time to build the crab salad. So I'm gonna take a pound of crab that we've cleaned it's important to clean your crab because, you know, there's always a little bit of shell in each container. I'm going to season this crab with a little bit of salt and pepper on the, the meat itself and also a little bit of lime juice to, to kind of add some depth of flavor to the base of the salad. And give that a little stir gently because you want it to, to stay in big lumps as possible for the salad. And then I'm going to add the sweet chilies, the tomatoes, and some torn basil. The basil will also add some really nice fresh notes that we all want in salad. All right, the last thing is a beautiful salad dressing that I just made. And spoon that over. So you need about a quarter cup, but it's all based on, you know, your personal preference and how dressed you like things to be. You definitely want to taste the, the vinaigrette. You also want to taste the crab. All right, so this salad needs a, just a tiny bit more lime, so I am going to squeeze a cheek on there. The crab salad's done. Now let's plate it up. It's going to take about five green tomatoes at the base. The outside of them super crispy. The panko to get work together with this lovely coating. I don't like to shingle them so that every tomato can have some salad on them. Blanket all of the green tomatoes with this lovely warm crab salad. I'm just going to finish 
the dish with a little bit more uh, curry vinaigrette just to make sure that the flavor just goes all throughout the dish. Lastly, just a little bit more Thai basil. I'm gonna go in just to give it a little bit of color. And I'll just finish with a little bit more finishing salt. This is fried green tomatoes with warm crab salad and curry vinaigrette. I built this special one for myself and I can't wait to try it. Now immediately, I feel how crunchy it is and I'm excited about that. Mmm, so good. <laughs> the bonio is super crunchy and earthy. The green tomato is tart, as it should be. The curry is like a flavor bomb in your mouth. The tomatoes bring freshness, and the crab is always magical. I hope I showed you how easy it is to pack a bunch of flavor into a very simple dish. I'm Chef Don Burrell from Houston, Texas, and I'll see you next time. Love that. All right, let's cut.